lovely cup of tea. Mm. It's been such a busy day today. Time to write my gratitudes. Today I am grateful for my amazing friends. Oh yeah, and the beautiful sunrise this morning. Oh, it was so lovely. Pinks and blues and purples. It was so gorgeous. Oh, that was amazing. Hmm, what else? Oh, what's that? Hello? Yes? I was just sitting here having a cup of tea. Why? In an hour, you, we've got friends coming over in about an hour for dinner. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure I can do something pretty quick with that. No worries. Alrighty, hun. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Oh boy. There goes my cup of tea break. Let's see, I think I might know just the recipe. Yes. Let's get busy. First, the sauce. Brown sugar, three tablespoons. Malt vinegar, three tablespoons. Soy sauce, two tablespoons. Tomato sauce, three quarters of a cup. Stir to combine. And set aside. Two eggs. Parsley, one tablespoon. Italian herbs, half a tablespoon. Onion, salt, pepper, beef mince. Now we roll this into a teaspoon size bowls. Oops. Handy hint time. Do you find that your hands are getting the, the meaty ring? The meaty ring? while you're rubbing your meatballs together where you feel like the meatball is sticking more to your hand than to itself all you have to do wash your hands don't dry them and keep going Ta-da! Meatball is no longer sticking to your hands. Other fun things that you can do with your meatballs, of course, is you could chop up little bits of cheese and pop it in the middle of each one. Make a slightly bigger meatball. And then you can have cheesy scented meatballs too, which is really yum. 
You can add whatever spices and things you want to those herbs instead of using, you know, a tablespoon of dried herbs of that dried parsley, you could totally have put in like about a quarter of a cup of fresh parsley. You could put some chili in here. That's really tasty too. The best kind of meatballs that I love are ones that are full of flavor, just the meatball on themselves without even having any sauce at all where you could totally just have the meatball and it is absolutely delicious. If you have a spring onion floating around, you can totally substitute the real onion for the spring onion and that's really nice too. You could probably put some garlic in here if you wanted to put garlic in here. With meatballs, you really can just let your imagination go wild. It's a fantastic type of um, recipe for cooking. Nearly there. Now this recipe has actually been in my possession for over 20 years now. And it is one of the recipes that my friends and my family have loved for a long long time and it was a very highly requested recipe when I lived in New Zealand. Next we'll be making a seasoned flour. So we need about half a cup of flour, about half a cup there, one teaspoon of salt, One teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of thyme. You're more than welcome to stop right here and just mix this up, but today I'm going to add some chili flakes to the seasoning flour. Round about a teaspoon of that. You do you, my friends. Stir it up, mix it in. And now you guessed it. We're going to be coating the meatballs in the flour. Boom. Handy hint time. This little bit of flour here, most people would just throw it away. But what we're actually going to do, take about three tablespoons of that seasoned flour. You remember that sauce we made earlier? We're going to pour a little bit of that sauce in at a time, just a little at a time, and start mixing it up into a paste. Okay, a little bit at a time and just mix it. You see I'm just slowly blending in that flour without making it uh, go lumpy. So this is the this is the trick to having lovely thick sauce for your meatballs. And still incorporating some of those flavors that are in the seasoning of the flour without just having thickening it up. So if I was to dump all of that flour into that fluid, then you'd end up with really lumpy yuck. But if you go slowly the other way, it'll make it into a yummy, thick, delicious sauce. And about that point, we can now just dump the rest of that in there. And before you start freaking out that it's, you know, uncooked stuff going together, cross-contamination, la -di -da, -di da all of this is going to get cooked. The whole lot will get cooked. Okay, so don't freak out about cross-contamination or anything like that. Okie dokie. Here we go. Sauce is ready to go. Into the pan, whatever oil of your choice, so roughly a tablespoon or so. And then very carefully 
put your meatballs in to cook. Making sure you rock and roll them around so that they all get covered in the oil. trying to stick together like good little family of meatballs sticking together and now we just brown them if you feel like there's not quite enough oil in there you're more than welcome to add just a little more Get that flour cooking properly. Whatever oil you choose to use is absolutely fine, okay? If you like to use canola oil, then use canola oil. If you like to use vegetable oil, use vegetable oil. If you like to use coconut oil, use coconut oil. If you like to use sesame oil, use sesame oil. Whatever oil you like to use is up to you. get a bit eager at this stage because I just want them to be cooked already. <laughs> When we use wheat flour for a thickening agent, it takes a little while to cook. So we just want to have it that thicken up, but we of course need to let this boil for just a little while. And ideally, we want to have a pan lid that would cover that. Turn that right down to a gentle simmer. And then over here, we're gonna cook some rice. If, you, if at this stage you're like looking at that going, yep, that's perfect. That's a really lovely thick sauce and that's the way you want it. Fantastic. Pull it off the heat now, wait for the rice to cook, job done. If you're looking at that and going, hmm, I think I want just a little bit more sauce, feel free to add a little bit of water. And gently, very, very gently mix that in and you'll find you'll get a little bit more sauce. But again, you've got to go really gently with this to make sure that you don't break up your meatballs. It's handy hint time. You've got some oils that you've tipped off your meat. What do you do with them? Do you tip them into the rubbish bag? You could. Do you tip them down the sink? Uh, 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 never ever tip oils down the sink or otherwise you're gonna have a massive sink clog. What do you do? To the rescue comes paper towel. All you do is just pop the paper towel down onto the oil and let that soak up. Squidge it around. Let it soak up into the paper towel. Swoosh the paper towel around, making sure you get most of all of those oils. Now that can go in the rubbish bin with no problems at all. Phew, we made it. Meatballs, sweet and sour meatballs with rice. Mmm. Seriously, give this a go. It has got that sweet and sour twang 
that we all know and love but with the beautiful tomato -y base and this absolutely is totally one of my favorite meals, meals to make, to share, to have with my friends and family. It is, and with the rice, because the, the uh, because the sweet and sour tang can be a little bit boom on its own, having the rice there just totally marries that flavor just beautifully. I prefer to use jasmine rice, but use whatever you've got in the cupboard. And as far as the vinegar goes, use a mild vinegar. You can use just whatever you've got in your cupboard. I happen to have malt vinegar today, but I have used brown vinegar, I've used white vinegar in the past, I've used all sorts. So just use what you've got, probably not apple cider vinegar, that might make an interesting twist on the flavors, maybe give it a go, it's up to you. In the meantime, I'm gonna go serve this up I hope you've had an absolutely brilliant day today. What did you think about the skit at the start? <laughs> that was a bit different. <laughs> Might be more of that, who knows? Let's give this one a go. I'll put the recipe in the description below for you. I have, like I said, I've picked this up like about 20 years ago and or more, and it has been a staple in my cupboard ever since. Have a great day everybody. If you like, you can subscribe wherever the subscribe button is and you could watch another video up here. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I'm so grateful for you and I hope that you watch a few more of my videos in the meantime. Have a lovely day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.